Maraming salamat po, Ms. Uh, Dang. No? It's a very uh, insightful presentation that uh, you have given us. Uh, siguro, ang, um, balikan lang natin yung mga sinabi niyo in terms of, uh, firstly, I think uh, it's very important to, the first thing that you said in terms of uh, also need to change the mindset and perceptions um, mm -hmm. while we're transitioning to, to, to e-mobility. You've talked about uh, key points to consider, essentially, parang essential checklist natin. You know? you, you've uh, gone through um, um, looking at the source, strategic locations, um, importance of clients and customers, and importance yeah. of um, of integrating yung, yung charging with the vehicles and the services that are being offered. Um, and then you've also highlighted the importance of uh, standards, the importance, uh, I think uh, that those would be uh, expounded later on by Doc Manny and uh, Vittorio. And then uh, in terms of the importance of the roles of the different uh, stakeholders, uh, which we would also hear about later on from Dr. Nguong and Dr. Uh, Chure, international experiences. And um, it's very important that you also highlighted the, uh, the or, or parang inability, the industrial or challenges with in, in, in terms of the industrial capacity of the, the country uh, currently, um, both in terms of the vehicles and uh, also in terms of the charging and the components in terms of producing this. Um, siguro po, um, if we can hear some questions, we have a couple of questions from Ms. Vicky um, um, in the chat. Uh, and for everyone else, po, we also encourage you to either chat or raise your hand po para mas interactive din tayo. Um, but we can accommodate uh, the questions now from Ms. Dang because she would not be able to join the rest of the, the, the session and will not be able to join the Q&A. So we can go through Ms. Vicky's uh, questions first, if that's okay. Um, the first one, ano po yung ano? what are the maintenance activities being done for the charging stations? And if you can share some, some insights on the unit costs um, that the, the users would pay when charging. I think... The second question, Ms. Vicky, you're thinking about uh, parang, ano, private uh, EV owners. Ata, Ms. Vicky, is that uh, correct? But anyway, Ms. Dang, if you can uh, first go through yung mga maintenance activities uh, that you're uh, doing actually, for the charging station. Actually, that's a good thing for, ano, no, hmm. for, the charging, uh, for the chargers that we're using. There's uh, less maintenance to that. Okay. And because uh, there is, this is actually more on programming, so for you, for us to update that, it, we just need to to connect it to an internet, and then our uh, supplier will just remotely update the charger. So mm -hmm. there, there's really not much to it. Okay. And siguro po yung uh, Ms. Dang, if you can also give us um, an insight, or if you can. Tell us the story in terms of the timeline that you go through from conceptualization to charger installation. Gano ba kahaba ito? And you've talked about yung mga different challenges, but siguro in relation, for example, to your interactions with, uh, for example, the local government units, what are the key insights, um, challenges, and you know, maybe some, if you have uh, insights in terms of uh, recommendations in terms of uh, potential uh, you know um, improvements in terms of interaction with local governments what they can do um, all these uh, uh, parang to facilitate uh, these types of uh, uh, transition towards uh, putting up more you know or, or aiding the uh, the uh, EV charging infrastructure development in at the ground so Gano ba katagal, for example, from conceptualization to installation? Naabot, insight. Well, actually, based on our experience, uh, Alvin, uh, first, the, the, the problem we encountered is uh, with the LGU for the securing of uh, building permit. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So we hope that one day there will be a green lane for this. But yeah, I, and I guess it's common. Can I say common that mm. secure uh, permits usually takes time. And then, of course, again, uh, the other experience is if we don't have the transformer or the power that is needed, it's additional setup that we need to consider. So it will mm. take time. Uh, before, I think it took us like three months 
And then, but for the Dabao, since we partnered with Dabao Light, mm. it's actually a month. A month. And mm. we were able to install the charger. So talaga na expedite through the, the strategic partnership, no? Yes, that mm-hmm. is correct. Yes. Um, very uh, insightful yung sinabi niyo with regards to the permitting. This was actually something that we discussed yesterday in mm-hmm. terms of the different uh, parang, uh, policy instruments. Um, marami din kasing ginagawa sa international arena. So, kunyari sa US, they have certain, or the, the, the local government, the cities have instituted mga certain um process uh, incentives kumbaga for if you want to install a charger even for you know for homeowners locators uh, building owners na you got to speed up the process mga one day types of inspection um so uh, as well as yung mga iba nagwe-waive din ng fees for for some of these things so very important po yung sinabi niya um we mm, go ahead Lisa. I, I saw the message from the Pasig engineer yes Lisa Nagasti Lisa Nagasti mm. I will agree on you. I have to agree on you on that. Pasig is, uh, no, in, in, it's not long down to, to secure permit in Pasig. Okay. Projects like this. Problem is ERC and Garal. Nice. Good afternoon, Pong. Uh, Engineer Noli. Nice to see you here. Yeah. Engineer. Mm-hmm. Engineer Noli is in charge of the uh, 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 solar project in Pasig. So magandang... And uh, uh, it's good to, will, great to hear that you're here. Yeah, uh, we will actually reach out to you soon, sir, because we intend to set up charger in uh, Ayala 30. So we hope you can also accommodate us. <laughs> Sige po. Maraming salamat. Meron po pa tayong ibang questions uh, for, for the other participants po. Um, Okay, you can chat me. You have a couple of minutes. Um, but before, siguro pa while we wait, kung meron pa man, uh, Ms. Dang, do you have uh, any, uh, siguro, uh, parting message no? before you close your session? Kasi hindi kayo makaksama mamaya sa, sa Q&A. Siguro, ano lang, um, if, if um, what are the, siguro, two key points that you would like to remind everyone um takeaways from your presentation a review two or three key points um that uh, you would want everyone to to leave this room later with uh, those concepts in mind or recommendations back actually alvin for me i think it's just one okay. let's not be afraid of the unknown that's very nice you, you just add, i i someone told me that there is a genius in inquiry. You just mm. need to ask. And then you, you'll know the answer and then you will understand that there's really nothing to be afraid of. That's a very nice message. Maraming salamat, Ms. Nang. It has been a very insightful uh, session with you. Uh, thank you very much. No? Um, thank maraming you. Maraming salamat. Yeah, thank you. Thank you um, for having me.